say, Gordon, the frost this year is absolutely dreadful. Don't I know it? Oh, just the other week I got stuck in the sheds because the points wouldn't budge. Well, I guess it could be worse. Damn frost is gonna make us fall off the rails someday. Well, I must admit that it would be a tad funny to see the green caterpillar topple over. <laughs> would at least provide a bit of entertainment. It's always the same, isn't it? Didmouth to Vickerstown, then back again. Visitors keep saying our railway is quite short and cute. Would love to speed through the West Midlands for a day. Oh, have you ever been on it? Well, no, but I heard that it is quite lovely. Hmm. You should have seen the East Coast Main Line, the pride of the GNR. Gah, there he goes blabbering on about his oh-so-precious GNR. Don't you ever talk about anything else than your old Great Northern? What was on that railway that was so special to you? Well, my brothers, my friends for one thing. I've never told you about Northern Fred now, have I? Please don't start. Oh, well, look who it is. It's the Elephant Man. Ah, oh, very funny. You two are still on that. That happened months ago. Now, what are you talking about? Why, yes, Henry. Whatever are you speaking of? You know exactly what I mean. Hmm, I haven't the slightest clue. James, do you know what he's speaking of? I can't say that I do. Bloody hell, the Elephant in the Tunnel. What is the problem with you two? Oh, you thought we were talking about that now, did you? Oh, of course not, Henry. We were just making a comment on your locomotive design. Oh, piss off with the same design! Wrong again, Henry. You are merely the shadow of the greatness that is the A1 class. You are the table scraps that Gresley had the common sense to throw out. How someone found and then made those plans a reality is beyond me. The only reason you're still standing on firm rails is because the director was desperate. Says Mr. Unwanted Prototype. At least my valve gear won't act up every other moment. <sighs> you know, Gordon, we're both in the same boat, you know. In what way? Well, we're both the rejected Gresley Pacific designs. Me and Gordon are quite similar when you get down to it. Similar? We're not similar. For one thing, I don't need any lousy, expensive Welsh coal to operate like, I don't know, a proper engine should. At least I do operate. You just start wailing every time you hear someone say trucks. I do my work when I'm told to do it. That's if you can even steam out of the sheds at all. Yes, you do operate, Henry, but at what cost? You are ruining the controller. He regrets buying you. He said it with his accountant last week. You are a disgrace to the railway. G Gordon, how could you say such things? I thought you knew better. Uh, it's time for your train, so I suggest you go. Huh. <laughs> What the hell has gotten into that engine? He seems more of a prick than usual. The LNER is going to stop building A3s this year. I guess he's just had it in for me. Since day one, I've been the LNER imposter. A poser. Gordon wanted to stay with the engines he loves, but got stuck with me. He never really enjoyed soda all that much, because he couldn't get to the East Coast mainline out of his mind. Especially with Christmas coming up soon, he just wishes he was with his Doncaster brethren. Why doesn't he just tell the director how he feels? He's too stubborn and arrogant. He fears of showing weakness. But how do you know all of this? I've known Gordon for almost 12 years now. I know him better than anyone. Though, it may like seem a very terribly bad-tempered locomotive. But I know he's not all that bad. Remember when he helped Percy after the mainline incident? Or how you and Gordon became friends after the bootlace incident. Gordon just needs time. He thinks he's still far away from home. But he needs to realise that this is his true home. That was really well put, Henry. Anyways, sorry to cut the conversation short. I've got to go. 
All right. Are you sure you've got enough bootlaces for the journey? Oh, I'm all right, but you just better watch out for any elephants. <laughs> Well, what is it then? Well, we have a few goods trains to pull today, but the director has given us a special train tonight. Uh, what special train? It's a non-stop fish train. Fish? What's so special about that? No time to talk about that now. We need to go. Well, all right. It better be worth it, though. Let's just hope this frost doesn't cause any problems.